But have you requested an in, uh, a meeting with President Trump? Not this year, nor last year. We have never made such a request for a meeting with the President of the United States. From American officials, we received eight requests for a meeting. And I did not see that as being an appropriate meeting, as I do not see it as being appropriate now. And a meeting must take place at a time when that meeting can serve a purpose, can be beneficial, can serve the benefits of both countries. But under the current conditions, I, when it comes to a meeting and dialogue, I uh, do not see it as beneficial nor appropriate, but you should ask him who made such requests. So what will bring you back to negotiating with the United States? I'm saying that because the U.S. says that we need to renegotiate, we need to open the Iran nuclear deal known as the JCPOA. That Mr. Trump, Mr. Pompeo, others have said, we do want to negotiate with the Iranians, but Iran has to change its behavior. What do you say to that? Well, you see, after many years of negotiations and dialogue, a consensus was reached, an agreement was reached between the seven countries. And it was agreed upon by the leadership of those seven countries involved. Subsequent to which, in the United Nations Security Council, it was approved under form of Resolution 2231. So no one has the right to unilaterally exit such an agreement without just cause and cannot violate a United Nations Security Council resolution. Therefore, the United States government deviated on a path during the past few months, and it must return from that deviated path to the previous point, to the point of departure. And there will be the point where we can talk about as to whether this agreement is being implemented well. This is not the time to talk about anything else, to hold dialogue about anything else prior to the proper and precise implementation of the previous agreement that was reached.